I know this is a longer video than I usually do, but I have seven different variations of this one build in this one video, and I give you a lot of juicy information. So please watch the whole thing, pay attention, take notes, and pick what is best for you. All I'm asking for in return is a like this video. Andre Iguodala, Sean Marion, Ron Artest, James Posey, Trevor Ariza. What do all these players have in common? They are 3 and D versatile players. They can play great perimeter defense and they also could switch on the big man if needed. Their defensive IQ is through the roof and they hit big shots. These are the type of players that are essential on building championship teams. They play hard, they play physical, they do all the little things because they are winners, they are champions. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Fisher Clay T11 and I'm back with another banger for you motherfuckers. Today, I'm going to show you multiple ways to build a 3 and D type player. Pay attention, please pay attention, but make sure you like this motherfucking video. Sub if you new, because I put in a lot of work into this so you can get it right and you can be comp when you're coming into 2K21. Now let's get it started. Everybody was hitting me up say do small forward build. They want a small forward one. Okay, let me show you the small forward. But the small forward is not the best pie chart for this and I'm going to show you exactly why. We got the red and green pie chart. We're going to get the physical profile with the primarily speed and this is what we're going to rock with. It's going to look it's going to look pretty glitchy. All right, we're going to go for 7 for the finishing. 7 badges for finishing. So we max out all these categories except post hook. We're looking for 16 for the shooting. Uh Boom, 16 for shooting right there. I'm not a big post fader. If you guys want to post fade, you can go ahead and mess around with it, but it gives you less badges if you do post fade instead of free throw. So boom, we got 16 right there. Nothing in playmaking, this build. This build, we're gonna do nothing in playmaking, and we're gonna go ahead and max out everything on the defense. And look how it looks. That's solid as fuck. That's cop right there. Seven, 16, one, and 21 that looks pretty damn good this is the small right forward here. version all right. i'm gonna use built as the body type we're gonna go six eight for this player six eight just like my perfect spot up in 2k20 that build is so dope we're gonna go down to 188 187 188 as the um as the weight we're gonna max out the wingspan but I would probably max it out because I know I'm going to be a good shooter, but Mike Wang said at 75 is when you get the consistent green. So if you drop it down too, you're taking a hit on a couple things, but if you add the plus four to everything, you're still going to be very solid player, very, th very good three and D type player, but you'll be at a 75 if you go down two on the wingspan. But me, I like to max it out because look how high my standing dunk and stuff is. Look at... The driving dunk is automatically, no matter if you do this way, the two down or the two uh, or the max out, it's going to be 75, which means you're going to get the long athlete layup. You're going to get solid dunk packages because you need at least a 75 dunk package, uh, a 75 driving dunk to get solid dunks. And also standing dunk, let's say if you got 75 standing dunk and 75 driving dunk you can unlock stuff like demar derozan's dunk package the blocks are solid the defense is solid like rebounds offensive rebounds perimeter d everything you get a plus five in that interior so you're at a 70 plus boost and everything speed is an 80 that's good we're gonna use the lockdown takeover you can pick whatever you want but i'm gonna choose a lockdown because it's gonna make me faster and the defense much better and we're gonna end up building Sean Marion three level score champion right there that is a champion but I got to show you I got to show you the alternate ways because that, that that's a solid build but it's not the best build okay you just saw build number one and build number one was a small four we're gonna make the same type of build at point guard and let's see the difference remember what the badge count was and now we're gonna do the same thing as a point guard point guards beginning more badges and remember this year we can go six eight on point guard so it's pretty much going to be the same 
thing. All right, remember, we had seven on finish last time. We had 16 on shooting last time. Um, and then we maxed out the defense, everything on the defense, and the defense was a 21. Now look who we at. 22 defense with six left over. So guess what? You put the rest on your shooting, you got seven, 17, one, and 22. So we got the same type of build, but we got one more badge in the shooting and one more badge in the defense and rebounding. So guess what? You're like, well, it's a PG. Look how his stats are. It's going to be all different. No, it's the same thing. You go up to 6'8 height. You go around to 188 max wingspan or maybe two off wingspan. Look, you got essentially the same exact stats. Same exact stats. Go ahead and do a, a, a little compare and contrast. It's the same thing, baby. So 6'8 point guards. It's going to be the same thing as the small 6 8 small forwards, except you're going to get more badges. You're going to get more badges. And it's just going to come at, look, pretty much the same takeovers. You just can't get glass takeover anymore because you're a point guard. And the thing is, we want that lockdown takeover. And of course, it's not going to give you the same name anymore. It's going to give you Penny Hardaway, Malcolm and Ben Simmons because you're a PG oh, now. And here's yet again another variation of this build. We got the same badge count, 7, 17, 1, 22. If you just drop down your block a little bit, drop that down, boom. You still got 22, but you got 15 upgrades left. Guess what you could do? You could put the rest right there. You get eight finishing badges. but. If you want to, if you're fine with seven finishing badges, guess what you could do? Depending on who you are, what you like to do, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and add another. Let's add another badge to the um to the shooting category. So you can either put your post fade up if you want to post fade a little bit, or you could drop that down just to get that extra, and then put the rest on your block so you won't be cutting out on your block so much. That's just a different variation. Seven. 18 1 22 or as you seen keep that 17 and add this to make it 8 booyah give the rest to your blocks so you decide which one you want now we're gonna make the same build with some playmaking in the build now once again I'm gonna show you small forward I'm going to show you the small forward version of this just in case you don't care about going to a PG. You don't care about the extra badges. You want to be a small forward. That's cool. I'm going to show you the small forward version when you have playmaking in this build. Playmaking in this build is going to be essential because some people saying they can't they can't not have the quick quick first step on on gold. They want to have that quick first step on gold. So they want to make sure they have at least three for their playmaking um, in the category. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Boom. Let's raise that up, raise it up. This, and then the rest on blocks. So you got four, 14, three, and 20. If you guys aren't satisfied with that badge count, then you guys could put it the way you guys wanna put it. But this is how I would put it if you have playmaking in the build. Let's show you what it looks like. Go ahead and put that the way you want it. We'll go back to 6'8. Drop down to 188. Once again, you can either max it out or put it two down so you can get that 75 three ball. Your choice. But you're going to have a 72 pass, which is plus four. 76 pass, which passing is underrated in the games. Sometimes those low, slow pass animations are trash and it makes you get a turnover. So you have also a 60, what is it, plus 4, 66 ball handle, which you're not going to be speed boosting or anything like that, so it doesn't really matter. And you still got pretty much all the essentials when it comes to the driving dunks and, and stuff like that. You, you're taking a hit on 7, um, you're taking a hit on the standing dunks, but in order to buy standing dunk animations, all you need is a 40 standing dunk to buy standing dunk animations. You're just not going to dunk as consistent. Um, and 
the defense still looks solid. You got an 83 block, you know, uh, and defense rebounds, all that stuff is the same. Now, once again, you see the badge count when it is a point, I mean, um, a small forward. Now, I'm going to show you this build once again at PG, show you that you get more badges. Go to down to PG. Same pie chart, same physical profile. And this time we're gonna do it just a little bit different for you. Same but different. Last time, what was it, four? Boom, we got four. It was 14. Boom, we got 14. And then we had three right here. I'm gonna drop this to 75. And then boom, three. Pretty much got this as close as possible to max. Taking away the um the offensive rebounding. So you're taking a hit on standing dunk and offensive rebounding. But Alright, so we got 4, 14, 3, 21, just like the last one. Guess what we got 8 left over. Guess what we could do? We can do, boom, go ahead and get you that 17 shooting badges if you want. If you're content with 4 finishing badges and no type of standing dunk. Or, we can give you some standing dunk. Take away a little bit from here. We'll give you 15 shooting badges. Put that up. Take away a little bit from block so you can still have 21. And boom, you got 5, 15, 3, and 21. That's pretty much well-rounded. You got your standing dunk. You got some of your blocks still. You got your playmaking. And you still have 15 badges for shooting. You know what I'm saying? Then, of course, we do built. We go to 6, 8. Drop the weight down to 188. Max it out or do two down. Your choice. You know what I'm saying? And look at what we got. The lockdown takeover, as always. And once again, since it's a PG, it is going to be Malcolm, Penny Hardaway, Spencer Dinwiddie. Okay, Clay, I decided to go with the 718-122 layout. What's the badge is going to be like? Go ahead and put uh, const contact, contact finisher on gold, fancy footwork on gold, and then we're going to do... There we go. Go ahead and put it like that. That would be kind of sufficient. I flex with that. You know what I'm saying? Or you could put put it like that. You know, a little bit of John Say on bronze. But I think that's good on gold. I low key think this is solid on gold, but I like the hop step still. So we're gonna go ahead and do it like that. 18 finishing. There is no more quick draw. I'm using 2K's um no quick 20. draw at all. So what are we gonna do? We are three and D specialists. We're gonna put catch and shoot, put dead eye, range extender. Green Machine, Corner Specialist, Volume Shooter, or once the game comes out and you have Hot Zones, Hot Zone Hunter. Boom. That is solid right there. That is, I, I don't even know a better lineup than that for that amount of badges. That is solid. Very solid. You got one. You can put that one on either Bailout, Quick First Step, or Unpluckable. Your choice. 22 for defense and finishing. That's a lot of badges. Go ahead and put the clamp song go to start it off. We do Hall of Fame that. If you want to use screens, you're going to put Hall of Fame. We're going to put Hall of Fame, Intimidator, Interceptor, Rim Protector, Pickpocket. Oh, we need some Pogo. We need some Pogo. You know what I'm saying? That's... That's pretty solid for, or we could even do that. It's pretty solid because you're going to be in the corner or whatever. You're going to try to play big man with this on the twos. Depends on what you're doing, but you got plenty of badges to work with. So in case you can wear the ISO guard, go ahead and put that to gold. Pickpocket gold, interceptor, and then add a um, chase down artist to that. Go ahead and do that. Something like that, man. That'll work. That'll work. Never mind, Clay. I decided to go with the 515 321. Okay, this is what you're gonna do contact finisher, silver, that on silver, and maybe Giant Slayer on bronze, and that's how you're gonna do that right there. 
or if you like if you're a fan of gold badges either one of these two gonna be gold simple as that but this still stuns this year just so you know it still stuns a little bit and combined with acrobat it's a good badge 15 shooting is more than enough we got catch and shoot gold once again deadeye range extender hall of fame automatically corner specialist green machine what else we gonna use um hot zone hunter there you go if you got no hot zones of course go ahead and put that hall of fame go ahead and put that silver simple as that three playmaking badges you already know what it's going to quick first step baby you're gonna have that nice quick first step or if you want to balance it out a little bit quick first step silver and that on bronze but i would do this and 21 of course we're gonna do the rebound chaser hall of fame it depends like i said if you're using this as a center or not it kind of depends if you're gonna use this in a corner or in the center it depends bro it depends scepter give you some clamps um uh, pickpocket still got four left go ahead and put that gold put that gold put that gold and give you a chase down if you want to drop that booyah and that is it make sure you hit that like button sub if you knew you fucks with me i fucks with you you already know how i do motherfuckers take these cop builds in consideration and go be great i'm an all-star i play all positions your girlfriend like it in every position me and charlie sheen got something coming